always follow big dreams. Hi there. So this is about my take from history about what we as business people can take from the kibbutz business model to our lives, to our companies, to our organizations. And um, the first take was about vision. My second take is about dreams. You need to have a dream, a big dream. Doesn't matter if your dream is small or big, it is going to be as hard, just the same. So don't waste your time on small dreams. Dream big. And there is not one thing, not just one thing, that those young people at the very early of the kibbutz, like my parents now in their 90s, that were dreaming that, did, that they did not manage to achieve. Not one thing. Furthermore, they achieved much more than they dreamed of. Anytime I speak with them, this is what they say. Much more. Now, how it relates to me? The number one thing that me, as a CEO, is in charge in my company, is making sure that the dreams that we follow are not too small. Making sure that we choose the right dreams that are challenging enough. And they should be extremely challenging. This is what we do. And whenever one dream comes true, I make sure that there will be another one. There is always. And the next one needs to be as huge as the one before. Always follow big dreams. Bye-bye.